Let's talk about rainbows. How are rainbows formed? Why, when you see a rainbow, does it have the order of colors that you see? That is, blue, green, red. Well, one thing you need to know about light is that higher frequency light refracts slightly more than lower frequency light. And I have it written here. Blue light is at a higher frequency than red light, therefore the blue refracts more than red. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you have a surface, let's take a, let's just take a surface like this, say it's glass or something. Well, blue, when it comes in here, remember Snell's law, the blue light will refract slightly more than red light. And that's due to its higher frequency. And this is best exhibited with a prism. Um, back to the rainbow. This is very important for a rainbow. So obviously, I've not drawn things to size. I have a rather large raindrop, but this will be helpful in seeing how things work. So let's first take a ray of blue light coming from the sun to the raindrop. So here's our blue light. Enters the raindrop. It refracts more than the red light, as you'll see in a second. Here, it just reflects. So whatever angle it comes in at, it reflects at that same angle out. And then it comes back out, something like this. Now, let's see what happens with the red. Well, the red is going to be on top of the blue, so because the white light it comprises all of the colors. The red, because it's lower frequency than blue, does not refract quite as much. I'll draw it, well, it's a little hard to do, but I draw it like this. And then it reflects like that. Remember, equal angles, angle in, angle out. And then the red light comes like this. And so that's what comes out of the rainbow. And, and green, of course, is you know in between the two. So let's take a third color, green, cover all the ones that are eyes. See? And it's going to refract. It's in between the frequencies, in between blue and red, and therefore it comes out in between blue and red. So you get the idea. Green's in the middle. I will focus on the blue and the red. Great. Now, now you can see that the, the white light coming in gets separated into its individual frequencies, thus it's separated into its individual colors, and you see that you've got your your, your rainbow pattern already. You've got the colors separated. You have a rainbow. But why do we see them the way we see them? Like I said, when you see a rainbow, and we'll end the video with a picture of a rainbow for your enjoyment, and when you do see a rainbow, what you see is a pattern like this. Blue, green, and red. Why do you see that? Well, Let's put down a farmer. Farmers are great observers. And let's see what he sees. Well, if we keep this blue ray coming, boom, right into his eyeball. What about the red? The red is not going to go into his eyeball. It lands somewhere here. He does not have a light detector down there. We only have one light detector in our human body, and that's the eyeball. So this ray is not seen by the farmer. This, when the farmer sees this drop, he sees blue light. Now, in order for him to see a red, well, let's take the red line. The red line, we trace it up like this. The red line is coming from a drop above the blue. So a different raindrop, also undergoing the refraction, the separation of colors, a different raindrop is, will give him a red ray right into his eyeball. And that raindrop has to be above the first one. And that's why you see the colors in this order. Blue, green in the middle, and red. There we go. There's my red marker. Hold on, hold on. Red! <laughs> Blue, green, red. And of course, violet, orange, and green, etc. So you
So now we understand how the light is, is separated into its colors, and we understand why rainbows have the ordering that they do. Now, one last thing, sometimes you see a double rainbow. What's that? What's a double rainbow? Well, a double rainbow is, what happens is, when this guy comes back here, he then reflects instead of refracts outward, comes back again and then refracts, and that switches the order of the colors. So on a double rainbow, these guys get reversed. So take a look at these last two pictures, and you'll see the real life of what we just explained here, the physics.